Hello, and welcome to Blue Beamer and Docsland. This series of short videos is aimed at those using programs like Blue Beam Review to get comfortable with similar workflows using BIM 360 Docs. These videos will also be helpful to those learning BIM 360 Docs for the first time, even if the workflows are new. So let's dive in. Today's video How to do markups in BIM 360 Docs. We will begin by opening your BIM 360 Docs project and navigating to the document you want to make markups on. So I'm going to begin with my lower level plan. I can click on that. In this case it's opening a PDF. At the bottom of the screen you'll see all of our different icons. So we are going to focus on the markup tool. Once I select the markup tool I have a bunch of different options that are available for me. For example I can create an arrow. Uh, I can add some text. I can highlight. I can do some freehand drawing. And of course, we have some preset shapes like our rectangle. And if we hit the little up arrow, we have access to other things the ever popular cloud. We can even do some dimensions. Now the first time you use the dimensions, it's going to make sure that you calibrate. The easiest way to do that is to pick on a known dimension. And then tell it how big that is. 4 foot 6 inches. And now we have the ability to calibrate our drawings and get some quick dimensions off of them. So that's how we have the ability to set up and do markups inside of Bluebeam Review. Of course we can change our thickness and color if we want to do some stuff that's a little bit different. Get in some polylines. It's probably pretty thick but you can see that we have the ability to do that. And then we're all finished. We say done and it now saves that markup. If I go into my little markup dialog box here on the side of my drawing it will say that the markup was done and who it was done for. We also have the ability to add attachments uh, into that project, edit or delete our file as it was. I can also publish this. So if I hit publish that means everyone else on the team now has access to that content that I did on that markup. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that. Say OK. Now that has been published. So now everyone on the team will have access to that content or that markup. Well, that's it for today's quick video. I hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to come back for some more. Have a good day.